Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about the interval in JavaScript. So we have two functions here, set interval and clear interval. So at the end we will be creating a watch using the set interval function. So let's start with the video. So first of all, uh, we have set interval function here. Inside of it we have two parameters. First one is the function and another one is the time period which is one second. That means 1000 milliseconds. So, so I'm gonna define the function here. So you can see that I'm going to write here the console.log and here I'm going to display a message here. All right. So let's refresh this page. So you can see that message is going to be displayed and this statement is repeating actually. But uh, here uh, this value is incrementing. So let me make it more clear here. I'm going to write here counter equal to zero and then i am going to write here the variable name counter plus plus so each time the function would be called and this variable would be incremented so let's refresh this so now you can see that message zero message one two three four and so on so what does it mean it means that set interval helps us to call a specific function on every single second all right so we can increase or decrease the time span also so sometimes we needed such type of uh, uh, features like we try to uh, call a specific function on a specific time period. So uh, I mean uh, we try to repeat specific operation after a certain time period. So we can use set interval over there. All right. So in this video we have uh, targeted to create a watch. So I am going to delete this thing here. And again this is also going to be deleted and right now i am going to declare a variable here variable d equals to new date actually this is an object that has been created so now i am interested to write this uh, time on a specific element so for that i need to declare i need to add, add a, an element here so for example i have added a p tag and i am giving it the id timer all right so i'm gonna change the inner html so document dot get element by id and inside of it i am gonna writing here writing here timer dot inner html equals to d dot to locale time string so this is the function that will help us to display over time all right so let's see i'm gonna save it and then going to refresh this page so now you can see over here 21 33 21 or 33 minutes and 18 19 20 so these seconds are going to be increased why because i am gonna call this fun function on each single second so that's why whatever would be the content inside the timer id element i mean this p tag that would be replaced with the latest one all right so in this way the timing is going to be uh, displayed over here so you can again see the function which i have used d dot to locale time string so this is helping us to display over time so one last thing that i wanted to add here is like how we can stop this type of uh, timer or this type of specific uh, interval so we are going to add a function add a button here so for example i am writing here a button and writing here stop and inside of it i am going to write on click and then i need to assign the interval set interval i am going to assign here my interval equals to set interval so whatever would be the value of this actually this is returning something which is helping us to identify this i mean this is an object so we are going to use this to stop the interval so if you are writing here clear interval so clear interval uh, function is helping us to stop a specific set interval so whatever set interval uh, is returning i mean that object so i'm gonna write here the name of that so my interval all right so my interval is this one so i'm gonna assign that my interval inside of clear interval 
so because of which once I am clicking on the button then it would be so you can see over here we have stop button we have the timing once I am clicking over it you can see that the time has been stopped now so that means we are no more able to uh, use this set interval I mean the set interval is no more calling the function fun again all right so th these are the few things that I tried to elaborate with you so I think you got the basic understanding that how we can use the set interval so one last thing that I wanna uh, I gonna uh, talk with you is like how we can make it more brief so you might have seen my previous videos in which I have used anonymous functions as well as the arrow functions so how we can use that one to actually uh, compact the uh, and the syntax so I'm gonna copy this uh, control X I'm gonna cut it and going to paste it over here and going to remove the name of this and you can see that this will work fine so this is called as anonymous function the function uh, who, uh, who which has no name that such type of function is called as anonymous function so if you will refresh this again you will see that this is working fine so another way is to use the arrow function here so the syntax of arrow function would be parenthesis and then fat arrow so if you will refresh now you will see that this is still working so what does it mean it means that we can compact our code so by using the anonymous function or maybe the arrow function so in this video let's uh, summarize what we learned we have actually actually used set interval and and uh, clear interval so set interval is helping us to call a specific function over a specific time period until we are clearing the interval all right so once we are clearing the interval then the set interval uh, function would no more be uh, calling the function which is uh, inside of that all right so for example i am stopping it then it will no more do the change so I hope you uh, got the basic understanding of set interval and clear interval so in the next video we will be learning something more fruitful so keep watching the videos so if you haven't watched the previous videos I am adding the uh, link of the uh, playlist into the description so uh, you can access that and even if you have any question I am also adding the link of my whatsapp group you can join that and uh, just ask the question if you have any and even uh, I will be sharing more fruitful content in that group as well so keep watching the videos see you in the next video